this game. Hello people of the gaming community. Yes, you there. As you play in Shadow of War, you will acquire new weapons and gear. This has drastically changed from the previous game, which makes it an interesting topic to cover. It will not only change your appearance, but it also brings with it better statistical values. We'll talk about the weapons, armor, gems, runes, and all the rarities and variety. Let's take a look. In Shadow of War you have 6 slots regarding your weapons and gear. From left to right we have the sword, dagger, ranged, armor, cloak and ring slots. First of all you can see the level of the item which indicates the improvement. Higher level items can range up to 1 and have improved stats. Speaking of which, the weapons and gear all have their own statistics that affect a component of Talion's abilities. The sword has melee attack as a primary stat, which affects the amount of damage you deal with the sword. The dagger has a stealth attack stat, which affects your damage against enemies when stabbing them with the dagger. In the ranged slot, you can now select either the bow or Calabrimbor's hammer, which have ranged attack as the primary stat. Armor allows you to increase your maximum health where the cloak affects your stealth or how fast you will be detected. And finally we have the ring with focus as its main stick, which is your ability to slow down time and use certain abilities. The rarities of these gear and weapons range from common indicated in white to rare indicated in blue to epic indicated in orange to legendary indicated in dark purple. Each of these comes with additional abilities that increase the power of your weapon and gear. Besides the main stat, depending on the rarity of the item, you have at least three slots for abilities. One is locked behind the challenge, which unlocks once you complete it, and the other two are free abilities, which enhance the power of that particular weapon or gear piece. Certain items can also hold set bonuses. So far we've seen up to two set bonuses, and these require you to wear two or more items of the same set to unlock that ability. Next to this, you can increase the power of your weapons and gear through the use of gems. Gems kind of take the place of runes. You can unlock a gem slot for the weapon or gear piece you want by buying it with Mirian, which is the in-game currency. There are three types of gems. Potency gems, indicated in red, Vitality gems, indicated in green, and wealth gems, indicated in grey or white. Vitality generally revolves around damage upgrades, vitality around health, and wealth around skills and abilities. Within these categories there are 5 subcategories from which you can choose, but that's for another video. Each of these gems can be upgraded 3 times and thus holds 3 unlockable abilities, greatly improving your items. If you're wondering how to get all these items, you have to kill Captains, War Chiefs and Overlords for the gear and weapons. Depending on their rank, you will get some good items. And gems are earned by killing creatures like Grouse. This was just a quick overview of the new weapon and gear system and how you can upgrade your weapons to be more powerful. Personally, we love it. We love the new system and how you need to scavenge your gear together and even have the, the gear sets. We want to know what you guys think of the new loot system. Do you like it? Do, don't you like it? And of course, give your reasons for why you dislike it or like it. Anyways, we want to thank you for watching. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch our content. More is on the way, so if you're interested in that, stick around. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section down below. And we'll try to figure it out together. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.